you also have the option to be able to add an extra unsubscribe link within your message because by default we're always going to put an unsubscribe link at the footer of your messages at the very bottom that is going to happen every time automatically you don't have to do anything but if you would like to be able to add an additional unsubscribe link it's definitely no problem let's say for example you wanted to include it in the pre-header you want to do it at the very top or anywhere else in the message is fine so I'm going to add a pre-header into my message I'm going to change the font so we can see it a little bit more clearly and erase this because we're just talking about uh, the option to add an extra uh, unsubscribe link, of course. So what you could do, for example, there's a couple of options. So you could just say click, click here to unsubscribe. And then do the personalize icon. Drop that down and choose scroll down until you get to message fields remove this merge word remove is going to automatically whoops I erased it it's going to automatically pre-fill with a custom unsubscribe link for this particular subscriber so that's what it will look like you'll just need to include this merge word that you can either choose through the personalized there or just do the two brackets with the word remove in it and that's going to automatically generate an unsubscribe link but so if you don't like how the link will look itself you could use the hyperlink option you know because it'll be kind of a long link that you they would be able to see in their message you could do this. Hyperlink the word here, for example. And in the URL, just use the merge word, remove, with the two brackets on either side. Click OK, and now that's been hyperlinked. So if they click the word here, for example, it would take them to the unsubscribe page. So it's very easy to add an extra unsubscribe link to your messages if you would like.